everyone welcome to this week's vlog it is tuesday i've never started a vlog on a tuesday before but this is my first week of self-employment so that means i absolutely can start a vlog on a tuesday and it feels it feels so wonderful <laughs> it feels crazy okay so yeah this is day two of being self-employed yesterday i just kind of did not a lot. I woke up super late, had coffee in the sun, it was really wonderful. And then I went to the gym for a while and then me and Jared did some grocery shopping, so super boring stuff. But it was nice to just live a normal day without work being smack dab in the middle for eight hours. It is crazy how much time working takes up. It is so crazy, especially when you're commuting to a job and you have no flexibility or freedom. We love it. We love it. So today, today I have to get a little bit of work done. Um, we have our apartment walkthrough at 1 p.m. So I'll take you to that as well. And then I'm gonna go help Jared's mom babysit a little bit. And that is really it for today. I am feeling good. The past two nights, however, I've been staying up a little bit too late reading. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to stop myself from reading because I love it and I like a little sneaky late night read but I should not make that a habit because I cannot be messing up my sleep schedule. No, definitely not. Also, on the topic of like quitting jobs and all that stuff, I was talking to someone yesterday and I had a really interesting conversation with them. I was telling him how I you know, just quit my job and I'm finally diving into self-employment and whatever. And he was saying how he did the same thing a few years ago, but it took him a lot longer in life, like in his 40s to make that move to become self-employed. And he was saying how the thing that pushed him to do so is because it got so bad at his like job that he was working that he had, he felt like he had no choice but to leave and go off and do his own thing. And honestly, that's how I felt too with the it got so bad part being the fact that my vacation was denied. When my vacation was denied, I felt like my world was crashing down. Like I was panicking because I didn't know how else to function. I was so not ready for change. I was so not mentally prepared to have to like let go of the stability of that job or think about other options in any way. I really really just panicked but obviously looking back i am so grateful it got that bad because i don't think i don't think i would have made the move to on my own just to quit and be like okay yeah i'll just be self-employed like with no real reason to quit my current job so if you're going through something and it's getting really bad i feel like that's the universe's way of kind of pushing you in another direction Make the choice to pivot a little bit and when you look back you'll be really grateful that it worked out that way and also just kind of i think being aware of how quote unquote bad a situation is is really good to like assess and be like okay um can i continue in this can i continue down this road if it keeps going like this how will that affect me for anything not just work for anything i think assess the situations that you're in and understand how it's affecting you as a human because we all deserve to be happy and we all deserve to be able to function in a peaceful way every day so okay that's enough of this intro um let's let's do the vlog <laughs>
what I'm wearing for the day for a walkthrough. So. I'm gonna wear this. Do we look nice? Do you think we look nice? At least we look the part. Here's to hoping we get our damage deposit back. So. All right, see you guys. Bye. And then tell them the people aren't on top of the plane. Can I please get a uh, bacon and agar on a seated bun and then I'll do a bacon and agar on the English muffin. Here we are eating out as per. <laughs> as per. Yeah. <gasps> Where's my hash brown? There mm. isn't one. Oof. <laughs> you want half of this one, I guess? Oh my god, I can't believe that! That's why you check the bag! Fuck! Yeah, can I have Yeah, half? you don't ever check the oh bag, my eh? god. just ride away on your phone. So we paid for two hash browns and... Oh, for sure. Damn it! You don't care to check. Oh my god, this is all I get! I can't believe that. I don't believe it. <laughs> no! I don't want to believe it, Jared. Can I get the chip? We had to get iced coffees from McDonald's and breakfast sandwiches from NW because iced coffee is better here. Breakfast sandwiches are better here. High maintenance. You wanted to as well. Right? Also high maintenance. We're both high maintenance, I guess. Right? Would you say that? No. You would say you're pretty low main? Low main. Okay. Just not going to waste my money on a shitty fucking... And that's a terrible spot for that. <laughs> Would you say that I'm high maintenance or low maintenance? Middle maintenance. Mm. Mm -hmm. Remember a year ago when we came here to accept this place? Was it a year ago? Just about. How do you feel? I feel good about our new place. That's about it. All right, you're Just over. Just want to get this place done with. Get it out of our hands. Out of our sight, out of our mind. Just forget it ever happened, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so it went super well. We're getting our damage deposit back. Full <laughs> stack of cash coming back. Woo! Plus interest, $18. Yeah, we made 18 bucks on that band of cash. So we're gonna go get ourselves a coffee as a treat. Um, they said we did a really, really good job cleaning. So thank you to us. Thank you to, did both your parents help? Yep. Uh, thanks to Larry. I don't think my mom went. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Thank you, Larry. She was actually helpful in many other ways. Moving, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera, yes. You could say we're in a good mood. Uh, that place is out of our hands. For now. Good mood for now. I got a dentist at three. Right. Huge buzzkill. So we're about to get grumpy. Okay, well, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Sparks and then you again. Jared, coffee review? 9 out of 10. What, really good. What's the one point missing for? Not enough ice.
Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Um, this is my third day in a row of having this like slow sunshine coffee morning routine and oh my god. Like I, I just can't believe that this is my life right now. I feel very grateful for this little period where I'm not super busy. Obviously that's going to change, but right now I am just going to take full advantage of not being super busy and fully relaxing and falling in love with these little moments because, oh my gosh, they are so special. Um, today I am having coffee with Arden and then we're going to the farmer's market here in town. And then I'm gonna meet up with Kelly later. So it's a day of socialization. Um, but for now, but for now we sit. Okay team, it is 8.30 at night and I'm gonna make myself a little decaf latte. I made Jared one and I tried it and it was so good. So I have to make one for myself. We are using decaf beans from Anarchy because they're the best. This is Goose for your mother's day dinner on May 12th. Brunch. Yeah, I'll be hungover, but yeah. Got this hazelnut vanilla coffee chocolate from the farmer's market today and it's so good so we're gonna mix that in with the espresso <gasps> Oops. that is so good Happy, happy Friday. It is Friday. I didn't vlog yesterday just because there was not much going on at all, but yeah, it's Friday. I've officially almost finished my first full week of self-employment slash unemployment, whatever you want to say. I only say it like that because I'm just not that busy at the moment. My busy season kind of starts in July. The reason I quit my job kind of so prematurely is because I wanted to give myself May to kind of get my life together. There's just a lot of things on my to-do list that I have been putting off and I wanted to give myself time to prep for the trip and also a few things have come up work-wise like I'm going to Vancouver for work and for visiting friends in two weeks so it's kind of worked out well that I quit early so that is good and I knew I was burnt out, so I just wanted to give myself the time to chill also before diving right into our Europe trip and then coming home and then diving into wedding season. So yeah, as for the review on like how this first week has been, it's been 
wonderful. I've been able to have like slow mornings every morning, which I've been wanting for so long. I feel like I've been yearning for that since the pandemic um, because the beginning of the pandemic was like the first taste I really got of kind of just taking things slow and not having too much going on. And I've been craving that ever since. And I've just been kind of doing some work in the mornings and going to the gym and then coming home and hanging out with Jared. And <sighs> yeah, this like structuring my day like this makes me realize how we really need to be doing working hours from like 10 to two. And then that's it. That is my ideal, that's my ideal day for sure. Uh, the fact that it's normal that people are working from like eight to five is frankly insanity. So that's just my opinion. And <laughs> I think the world is structured pretty wrong, but that's just coming from me, someone who doesn't love spending eight hours a day working. I don't know about you guys. Plan for the day is basically exactly what I just said. We're doing some work this morning and then I'm gonna go to the gym. And I've been loving going to the gym in the early afternoon, like one o'clock, two o'clock. Wow. Yeah, this is what I've needed. This is what I've needed. And I feel confident in myself that I'm gonna like stay consistent with my fitness now, which I haven't been for a minute, which is fine. I needed a break to respark the joy for sure, but it's been an absolute privilege to be able to go at one and two o'clock in the afternoon, so. Let's get on with the day. What do you think of the Mexican place? Oh, so yummy. Out of 10? Authentic. Uh, oh my god. No was, room for more. It was 10 out of 10. What kinds did you get? Chocolate, peanut butter, cinnamon toast crunch, and cookies and cream. Wow, three scooper. <laughs> <laughs> But don't actually touch my ice cream cone. Ten out of ten. Happy Saturday. Took it super slow this morning, but I'm gonna head out now because I need to go pick up Arden and Rachel. We're having a little margarita day here, so I'm gonna grab them. We're gonna go get the ingredients and then we're gonna make marks. So yeah, we were originally gonna go outside and like have a picnic and stuff, but it is so cloudy today. So we're just gonna hold up in my apartment and have a cozy mark day, so let's do it. Oh. 
Wow, those are so pretty. Okay. <laughs> 